Good morning Vlogmas. It is Vlogmas day 8, December 8th and a Wednesday. Um, I am Allison and I am shooting a video every day through the month of December leading up to Christmas. Um, I've got a, ouch, I've got a cat um, begging for my attention. She just bit my toe. Come here. Come on. Um, yes, so uh, last night we celebrated my husband's birthday with some yummy local Mexican food and today I'm not sure what I need to get up to. Um, I know I need to start planning a big dye day, um, dyeing yarn. And so maybe today will be inventory on um, the bases that I have and kind of making that plan for the upcoming dye session. Um, otherwise, I did put in a little bit of progress on my northeasterly blanket last night. That's all I did in it on. Um, after dinner, I sat down and we watched some TV and I worked through two colors of the Sweet Sparrow Yarns Advent. Um, I'll insert a shot of that here. Um, and yeah, it was just really chill. You know, so I am going to. Oh, she is being a turd. Are you being Henri this morning? Huh? Are you needing some attention and some pets? Don't bite. Be a good girl. I'm not in the mood to play this morning. I'm still waking up. Look at that face. So yeah, like I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by a cat biting my toe. Um, what was I saying? I don't even remember. Oh, I do have, I have been having some thoughts about some of my advents that, um, <laughs> that I will um, sit down and chat with you guys about a bit later. I'm not, not loving one of my projects and that's terrible it has nothing nothing against the designer or the pattern um, I'm just I think it's too involved for me right now um, and I'm just not finding myself enjoying the process of working on it so I may switch things up but again I'll chat about that in detail later um, but for now, I need coffee and to prepare for a meeting this morning.
Alrighty, day nine of the gorgeous advent calendars brought us, look at these, look how well those go together, brought us another group of gorgeous colors. So first up, we have Mastermind Rogue from Hannah of the Corner of Craft. And if I could put colors of myself in a skein, I'm pretty sure this would be it. Oh, so pretty. So, so pretty. And then this beautiful, almost like a spearmint green color from Lavender Loon. And then Sweet Sparrow was golden hour on again on her nest base I also have a colorway called golden hour and yesterday was rose quartz which I have a quartz colorway and then of course the rose gold I swear Julie and I are like living on the same wavelength here that's so funny and then for the Lofty Loops Advent, we have Eventide, which is just this really pretty tonal, light blues, dark blues, navy blues, really pretty colors. Um, and then you guys, look at his cute little face. I think this is lock, lock, shock, and barrel. <laughs> he is too cute. Oh, and then today is matcha, which I'm definitely going, <clears throat> which I'm definitely going to go upstairs and make right away. Doesn't want to focus. It wants to focus on his little face down there. Is mint humbug matcha which is sweet peppermint and rooibos. I've got lots of matchas over here to catch up on as well as my lavender moon colors are all piling up back here. <laughs> so there you have it there's day nine. Hey guys, uh, it is after five o'clock, the day is over. My son went to work, my daughter is at youth group with her friend, uh, they go to church on Wednesday nights. My husband is still at work, so it's just me and the pup sleeping back there. Shug, hey buddy. <laughs> oh, what a doof. 
Um, the cat is over here in the dog bed that she has decided is now hers, um, staring at me with a look of contempt on her face. I don't even know what that look is. But yeah, uh, I mentioned earlier that I'm thinking about frogging one of my advent projects, um, and I'm thinking I might frog my quest wrap, which is really sad. Um, I love the pattern. I am having a lot of fun going through the battles and reading through the pattern, and yep, there she is. Um, but I think it's just too much for me right now, um, since I'm... Alright, well, it cut me off. Um, I guess my card was full, um, which was fine that it cut me off because the cat jumped into my lap and proceeded to scratch me, um, or claw at my chest, so I may have shouted some, uh, inappropriate words. So, anyway, uh, yeah, like I was saying, I think I'm gonna frog my quest wrap only because I'm working on three other advent projects right now and while it is a beautiful pattern and it is a lot of fun, um, it just, it's a lot to take on. Um, I'm falling really far behind and to be honest, thinking about um, picking it back up and catching back up is kind of unmotivating me to work on it. Um, but please don't, don't take what I'm saying as anything negative against the pattern at all. Um, it's just, I took on too much. It's completely my fault. Um, so I do think I might frog it, or maybe I'll leave it for now. Um, I do have about a half a skein, I think, of each color so far um, left over. So I think I might cast on... Um, Oh my gosh, I was just looking at it and now I'm going to forget the name. Hold, please. That's what happens when you get off work, your brain just is fried and... <laughs> um, ah yes, it is the Harton Cowl, which is a new one by um, Helen Stewart or Curious Handmade. Um, I am also knitting her Dust of Snow wrap from uh, last year using my Lofty Loops Advents from last year, and that's the wrap that's in the intro to these videos. But yes, this is another mini skein slash advent pattern. Um, it just, it looks like it'll be simple enough to work on without taking too much brain power while also having a little bit of that lace and texture and stuff that I was really getting out of the Quest wrap. Um, because my other projects are kind of just stocking it. So um, I think that's my plan. I feel really bad, but like I said, maybe I'll leave the quest wrap as is um, and then circle back to it because um, I could see myself working on that throughout this whole next year. Um, it's just not a project that I'm going to be able to keep up with um, in the month of December. Like there's no way and I'm proud of myself that I can even acknowledge that this this <laughs> this soon. Um, so anyway, that's my thoughts. Uh, yes. Oh, I'm also wanting to mention that if you guys are following along in the Ravelry group with the Advent Make Along, um, I will be drawing a winner on the next episode. So that'll go up on the 10th. I'm going to pick two winners out of that chatter thread. Um, to get patterns gifted. Patterns and or minis, TBD, but likely at least a pattern. Um, and then I, I think I want to put together just some random minis from my shop or maybe minis that I have um, as kind of a gift basket for a grand winner at the end of the month. So make sure to check that out if you aren't um, chatting away with us in there. It's, it's super... Um, casual, not not any rules, just be working, making something that has to do with advents or advent knitting, advent making, advent sewing, advent coloring, um, really anything as long as you're considering it an advent project. It, it totally works. So chat away in that chatter thread. There isn't a finished objects thread because it'll just be 
um, just chatter, just fun, casual, having fun, sharing ideas, things like that. So I'm going to draw two winners from there um, for episode in episode slash day 10 of Vlogmas. So make sure to hop on over and see all of the projects people are working on. Um, there's been tons of ins inspiring projects and lots of awesome conversation. So, okay, I'm going to try to, I think, cast this on. I haven't even looked at what needles it takes, to be honest. Um, that's probably going to be my downfall, let's, let's be real. Uh, it's always, always with, the, always with the needles. How many needles can one person have? and still not have enough, seriously. I'm not even seeing a call out for needle size, so I'll have to dig into the pattern. I did already purchase the pattern um, as an option of something that I might want to work on. So I already got it. I just need to see what all I will be needing um, in terms of equipment. So yeah, house to ourselves tonight. It's going to be a slow night. Um, honestly, I'd be happy with just cereal for dinner. <laughs> My husband probably won't be. Um, so yeah, I don't know. At least I won't, you know, I haven't crock-potted an entire giant meal like I did last week when everyone was gone. So yeah, super, super low-key night. Um, I am planning a fun trip for this weekend. I think I'm going to make the three and a half hour drive down to Ikea um, just for A, to get out of the house because I've been in here way too long. B, I'll be in the car for the majority of that time. So I feel like that's relatively safe in terms of COVID and sharing germs. Um, B, C, what, three, I don't even know. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm going to be taking my sister-in-law and her oldest daughter, um, who's in her 20s. I think we're going to be going as like a girls trip, which will be really fun just to get some like outside conversational time um, in like real life. Like it, it's going to be good. I really need it. Um, and then lastly, Ikea. I've never been there in person, but I am assuming that it's going to be like a wonderland and I already have a list of things that I wanna get for this um, craft studio area, dye dungeon or yarn dungeon, whatever you wanna call it, but also the dye studio area. So I've got a list and we'll see how much I can cram into my SUV. Uh, but I will definitely be taking the camera along and vlogging because that will likely be one of the most exciting things to come <laughs> in the month of December, so. All right, y'all, if I don't sign off, um, have a wonderful evening, afternoon, morning, whenever you're watching this. And um, I will be sure to share any progress that I make on this new cowl or whatever else it is that I'm, I've got. Two project bags there. One project here. Where's the other bag? I think the other bag's in this bag surrounded surrounded my mini skeins and admin projects shug 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 shuggy he's not deaf it's selective hearing i swear shug you're snoring All right, guys. Talk to you soon.